Onion, Onion Peak. We're close to Field, actually, and we're on the shores of Bow Lake right now. It's so pretty. It actually does really look like the ocean. It's nice, really pretty turquoise blue. And we're gonna head up to Onion Peak today, to the glacier, so this will be fun. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Emotion see through your flaws Cause I know that you got so much more to give You made a real mess but I miss you though Cause I can go to sleep when I'm alone again Say you wanna fix our problems How long should I be waiting? Feels like I've had too much of drama but I'm not ready to give in
actually made it to the cave. The cave is actually just down from me to the right. Um, I'm just gonna wander the top for a little bit, maybe take some pictures, and then I'm gonna head to the cave for the final last little bit before we head back down to the lake. And I'll show you guys the view. It's beautiful up here, of course. And I'm right beside a glacier, which is so cool. Take a moment right here. Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running moments later Told my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running
And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you Baby up with a slow motion crew And we up in the growlings when people change but not us And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon I know she got the good vibes when seasons change but we're the same Welcome to my after hike review for the onion slash bow glacier slash bow hut. I don't really know what to call this trail because I didn't fully complete it all the way to the peak of the onion. I thought I was on the peak at one point, but I don't think that was the true summit because I didn't see Iceberg Lake, which is viewable from the top so i'll get into that let me just get into the hike it's really hard for me to pick like what the best hike that i've ever done was like what is the most scenic what was the most challenging what was the most beautiful like it's really hard for me to choose one but honestly this one i would have to say probably takes the cake of the most beautiful hike that i've ever done at this not even this year like ever this hike had it all, it was awesome. So you first start off at Bow Lake. In itself, the Icefields Parkway is one of the most scenic drives in Alberta. So yeah, you start off on Bow Lake, it starts off flat and nice, then you get into the river slash rocky section, and then you go up this big hill. So we did opt to detour to Bow Falls because you can head to the falls one way or you can continue on to Onion Peak the other way. We decided to check out the falls first, which I don't recommend doing this. I'd recommend doing this if you have time at the end of your hike because you're just gonna lose so much energy and time just to go to the falls. It's pretty short, honestly, like it takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes to walk there, but then you have to walk 10 to 15 minutes back to the natural bridge, which is really, really cool because the natural bridge is a huge boulder that goes over this canyon. It's kind of sketch because if you do fall off the boulder, you kind of fall to your death which is kind of all that I thought about when I was on top of this boulder, but it was a really interesting first kind of like adrenaline experience on this hike. You continue on through the forest and then alongside the river through some boulder fields, which are always fun. And then eventually you hit your first river crossing, which was the most sketchiest thing that I've ever done in my life because this river crossing not only was the river super rough, super rapidy, but on the one side, it just basically is a drop. Like the river turns into a waterfall and then goes all the way down. So you could again, fall to your death for a second time. So this is technically not a river crossing. I call it a river crossing because that's what it reminds me of, but it's actually a creek. So it's just a really fast flowing creek or fast flowing body of water that pretty much turns into a waterfall. So if you fall in and you're taken by the current, you fall to your death again. I definitely was sketched out at this point. I had to have my friend help me across the river because I literally didn't think I was mentally capable of doing it myself. So I had my friend help me. Thankfully, she was there to help me. So that was the first river crossing and then you will continue on and you will go through the forest again, through another boulder field, and then you have some more creek crossings. So the next few creek crossings i think you have like five in like one section and that part is not bad at all like those stream crossings are very just you can pretty much 
hop, skip, and jump over them. It's nothing too crazy. And then the views from that point are, the views throughout the whole hike were amazing, but the views from here are just like unreal. You have waterfalls and then you continue up this steep little hill. You get to the bow huts, which you can actually book a night there online. I didn't really look into it and see how much it was or anything like that, but that's where we had lunch, right? At the bow huts. And then we continued on. So by this point, the trail is a little bit difficult to follow. It's a little bit difficult to follow on all trails. Like I said, I thought I was at the top of the onion because the hills there kind of do look like onions. So right behind the bow hut, there's this huge hill. And I thought that was the top of the onion because because it does look like it has layers in the rocks and stuff like that. I definitely at that point thought I was at the top and I had really, really pretty glacier views all around me. It was so beautiful. But later on, after I finished this hike, I realized that wasn't actually the top. So I need to do it again. <laughs> But I would do it again because it was an amazing hike. So after this point, we took some pictures. I drank some water through my life straw for the first time. I probably didn't need to filter the water because it was like fresh glacial water. Then we continued to the really cool ice cave, which was awesome. Like I've never experienced that before, like a naturally occurring ice cave. It was so cool. I thoroughly enjoyed that part. That was the best part of the hike. And I posted a lot of Instagram stories on it, TikTok. Everyone was asking me where it was because it looks super amazing so I always warn people about how the hikes are leading up to that point so I did mention you know the sketchy river crossing and you know the sketchy boulder in the beginning so I always like to mention those things before I make you risk your life and you're there and you're like I want to get to this cave you know so I always mention those things to people also I just really love this hike and how lightly trafficked it is there wasn't a lot of people when we did this hike I'm sure it's a more popular trail on the weekend but we did this on a Friday so there wasn't very many people on the trail and it really like trails like that they're just so just relaxing and the glacier was so pristine so beautiful and I just completely fell in love with this hike I will do it again I will do the iceberg lake trail next time as well like there's just so many trails in that area that I want to explore there's so many hikes that I want to do on the Icefields Parkway it's just kind of far away <laughs> it's uh, closer to field BC it's closer to like Jasper it's about like a two and a half hour drive for me but all in all I give this hike a 10 out of 10 I would rate it an 11 out of 10 or a 20 out of 10 if I could like it was so amazing I highly recommend Recommend it if you are an experienced hiker if you are comfortable with river crossings if you are comfortable with crossing over huge boulders that look like you're gonna fall into a canyon if you like glaciers then this hike is definitely for you so that is pretty much it for my hike review that is pretty much it for this video if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead and put the subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday friday and i'll see you guys in the next video bye